Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTag. In this video I'll show to you guys how we can backup the files on Windows 11. In order to do that we're gonna use a feature of Windows 11 which is called file history. First we need to go to search and we type here control panel. Once you see the app control panel you just click once over it and it will open. Once you are over control panel, you have to go over view by and you choose small icons. And then from these options here, you need to find file history. Once you find it, you just click over it once. Then you will come on this view here. File history saves copies of your files. You can get them back if they are lost or damaged. In order to activate file history, you need to have an external drive or a USB stick on your computer. So when you go over select drive, you'll see this notification which says no usable drives were found, connect an external drive or try another drive if yours isn't listed. So I'm gonna plug now my external drive and let's go back to file history. And now I can see my external drive showing here. And in order to just activate file history, we need to click over this button here, which says turn on and the file history is on. Here over advanced settings, we can specify how often we want to save the copies of files. You can choose from every 10 minutes or daily. In my case, I'll just choose every six hours to have a copy of my files. And then you'll choose here, keep save version for how long. For example, if you don't want the saved copies more than six months, then you choose six months. If you want forever these copies of the files to be saved on your external drive, you choose forever. But I will suggest you to keep it for, let's say, six months. And after six months, the old version will be deleted. Once you are done with this configuration, you click over save changes. And if you want to run now a backup of the files, you click over run now. And then it will pop up this notification which says file history is saving copies of your files. The files that will be copied will be from all the libraries, desktop, contacts and favorites. If you click over restore personal files, you can see what kind of files have been saved. So these are the files that have been saved for me, for example. It's all the contacts, documents, folder, downloads, folder, libraries, music, etc, etc. And in case that you want to restore a file, you need to go over the folder where you have it saved. For example, in my case, is on desktop. And I want to restore the file, which is named PDF file 3. I select over it and then I click over this button here, which says restore to original location. And in this way, the restore process will start. Now it's asking me the destination already has a file name PDF file 3. I will compare info for both files or you can replace the file in this destination with this version that you want to restore. And that's all that you have to do in order to restore the files by using file history. So that's all that you have to do in order to back up your files by using the future file history. I suggest you to activate this feature as soon as possible so you don't lose any more files on your computer. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.